We're in the fourth smallest nation of South America. The country that's named after the equator which cuts right through it. Ecuador. It's known for being home to the Galapagos, an incredible biodiversity and interesting history. One historic fact that's quite interesting to me is that in the 1920s the first trout were introduced, probably by the Canadians. These rivers and lakes were the perfect home for them and to this day you can find them pretty much anywhere. I had big plans for my three weeks here, but upon my arrival I found out I had to cancel most of them. And that's because a small war was going on. Indigenous communities were protesting against governmental decisions with a lot of violence and by blocking most of the roads going to and from whole cities. But then finally, after two weeks of waiting, it was time to go fishing. Good morning. In this video is going to be a little bit different because I'm gonna do it in English, as you might have already found out. And I'm not in Panama anymore, I'm in Ecuador. And we're gonna go for some trout fishing here in the Andes. We're in a town called Oyacachi and there's a lot of lakes here in the mountains on almost four kilometers height, full and full with drought. So we just had breakfast, pack our stuff, and then we're gonna go. Ah, okay. Life of an Ecuadorian fisherman. Yeah. Preparing. It's gonna be a really wet day. And it's only been raining since yesterday evening, I think. And it's raining pretty badly now. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. So first we need to buy the permit to actually go be able to fish in this lake. That's what we're gonna do right now and then onto the lake. Where buying a fishing license in a western country takes about 15 minutes, buying a license here took about an hour. The fact that our guide was probably still sleeping and had a little bit of a hangover didn't really help. So we took a look at the hot water springs nearby. This area in the Andes has a lot of hot water springs and they are made into uh, nice bathing places to relax and chill. Like this, you can see the hot water. The steam coming from the hot water, but it's super nice. Great. And there's also a, a big river here that flows through this city or this village. And usually it's really good for trout fishing, but now it's winter time, it's really wet. It's not the best time, as you can see. Lane, yo! Can you introduce yourself? Hey, everybody. <laughs> I'm Lane. We're here in Oyakachi, and we're gonna go fish some trout up in El Paramo. 
a lake called Sukuskocha. Hopefully <laughs> the weather will cooperate. Yeah, well, for now, actually this is all right, I think. It's a bit wet, could be, would it be nice if it was less wet, <laughs> but at least it's not pouring down. Yep. And Lane is my Ecuadorian friend from America. <laughs> And we're gonna do some trout fishing. So Lane, what is Keep Fish Wet? Uh, Keep Fish Wet's a program that uh, some friends of mine in the US started. It's about catch and release fishing and promoting scientifically based best practice fish handling to preserve fish and, and, and keep them healthy during the catch and release process. We're trying to promote it here, trying to save the world through fly fishing. That's what we're doing. And since our guide was still not there, we took a look at some wood carvings on the other side of the street. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Can you really quickly introduce yourself? Well, my name is Nestor Romero. I am from Colombia originally. I live in Ecuador for four years. It's a beautiful country. Come and visit us, okay? <laughs> and Nestor is a friend of Lane. They are fishing buddies here. There were supposed to be a few more fishing buddies, but they didn't come. They didn't make it. So it's three of us and the local guide who's just gonna be there. So we really want to go fishing, but this guide is driving very slow. <laughs> we might have a different attitude if we were on a motorcycle. Yeah, that might be true <laughs> in this rain the wet road and holes and stuff. So where, where we are now, above 3,600 meters, um, it's called Paramo, it's a grassland that's unique to this part of the world. But it's a, it's a relatively thin layer of, of soil over rock. But all the soil and all the grass and, and everything else acts like a giant sponge and it absorbs all the water from the rain and that's what provides water to all the rivers and the cities and all the people here in, the, in this part of Ecuador. So it's, it's a really important resource and they do a very good job of protecting it. This is all reserve land um, and uh, it's part of a, a water management project that the city of Quito has and it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Ah, 
guys, what are you guys doing? We're getting rid of our coffee. Coffee. Juice and life. The lake is somewhere in these wetlands. <laughs> There's no path. We're, yeah, not yet. And we're gonna follow the guide. <laughs> How far is the walk, you think? About 30 to 40 minutes. All right. Are we lost? No, I'm still cansado, but I'm still here. Can you find the way? This way. Here, yeah. <laughs> we lost you for a second. <laughs> All right. This is fucked, man. Sorry? Fuck. Yeah. Would have been nice if we went up the hill a little sooner, I think. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> 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 Living the dream, man. Got some big Three ass nine nine nine. Let me show you the. How high? Three nine nine nine. Three nine nine nine. That is pretty high. <laughs> we need to go all the way up there. And our guide is right there. <laughs> A little bit higher than your average boulder. Yes. <laughs> A little bit. I can't believe we have to pay for this. <laughs> wow. Don't forget the PC road, my friend. Here we go. Off we go. A little bit up this hill. And I think then that we are at the lake, right? It's that's just that's it on top of the of the hill. Like 50 to 100 meters more in elevation, and we're there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like climbing the Cotopaxi all over again. Exactly. <laughs> oh shit! My lure is stuck somewhere in these plants. Oh, I see it. Oh. I feel like Mr. Puma is going to make an appearance in a minute. That would be cool. If you fight him, I will film it. Please. Feel. You will be famous, I think. Famous or dead? This is nice. He's definitely going to be losing <laughs> This is intense. It's really intense. So, what's happening is that our guide has no idea where to go. He's lost. So, our guide went this way. Lane is going that way to see what he can see. If he can find the lake. Lost in the Ecuadorian highlands. <laughs> and you're a bit tired, I think. Water, sugar cane, and lemon. Nice. Um, 
We're close to the lake, but we don't know exactly where it is. We're going to follow this river and hopefully uh, find it in the next couple minutes so we can catch some fish. <laughs> yeah, it's great that we have a guide. Yes. Uh. Big trout. So right now, we need to go down that way according to map. But it's a fucking high cliff. Woo! So we need to find another way. <sighs> Nestor! We yeah, found the lake! The lake! <laughs> oh. the lake, the lake. Finally! It does exist! Woo! It does Finally! Oh, we made it to the lake. I was just saying, Nestor and I have gone on plenty of crazy adventures over the past 15 years. <laughs> this was the most down in the dumps I've ever seen him. <laughs> I don't know how many small thorns, we, you know. I have it in my fingers. His hands are, no. are all messed up. Yeah. Explica les que es. It's a, uh, this fly is a Dalai Lama fly. Um, it, they became popular up in Alaska, but they, they work incredibly well. They have great movement and the trout love them. So, all right, we're going to try it. Let's see. Okay, first cast in this mountain lake. Sorry? Nice size, not huge, but... Yeah. Oh, all right, guys. Oh. <laughs> First trout. <laughs> Pretty decent size. Finally, it has a really strange shape, <laughs> but it's a trout. First of many, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. All right, here we go. She can go back, or he, I don't know. Good <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right. Now it's your turn. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Well done. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the first fish. Hopefully more will come. Oh, but I'm so happy. Yes! <laughs> Alright. 
Not a nice trout. First cast after that trout. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Fish! Oh! Came off, that was big! That was really big! Fish! Oh. Yeah! Beautiful. Little, little, little trout. I mean, this is a nice size in the Ardennes in Belgium, but here it's small. <laughs> Ciao. So nice when the wind calms down for a second. Fish! <laughs> so nice! This little lure, it's um, I think it's called a Me Megaboss Humback Twitch Bait works so well nice trout beautiful delicate fish Ecuadorian rainbows yeah crazy you catch these on almost four kilometers in height <laughs> insane oh. <laughs> <sighs> so nice We've been walking for such a long time and then seeing fish. <sighs> really good. Now it's your turn, Lane. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, he's fast. Oh, awesome. It's a big one, man. Oh, nice fish. Look at that thing. Grande stuff. That is a really nice fish. It's a nice Ecuadorian trout. Wow, it's like a salmon. <laughs> Crazy. Whoa. <laughs> what a nice fish. Yeah. Industa. Two and a half, three kilos maybe? I don't know. Without a scale, we'll never know. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. So strong. Would you like a photo with it? 
Sure. Hmm? Sure. Oh, or not. I guess not. <laughs> Let's get another one. Dude, oh, yeah. congrats. <laughs> that is awesome. Felicidades. Bien, 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 bien. Woo! Por eso bien. estamos aquí. Bien, bien. I'll show you guys what I'm using as bait. It's this little tiny twitch bait from Mega Boss, I think. And it works great, only the hooks are terrible, as you can see. But let's get another one. The microphone, the camera is soaked. It's so wet. But at least we're catching fish. <laughs> you want to get past me? Or? No, I'm thinking that would actually sit down for a second and figure out. Stick myself in the grass and try to get warm. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's still there. Oh. He swam towards me. <laughs> They are so beautiful. The first one I caught was ugly. Yeah, it had a weird back. It was all mutated. So nice. Awesome little trout. Joe. Oh, that bite was so cool. <laughs> Oh, fish. Feels heavy. Ah. Uh. Yeah, nice fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you can. That's really nice fish. <sighs> All right, I have a pretty nice fish, pretty decent one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bait is just gone, I think. Whoa. fish. He's not like taking a lot of line but Wow. That's what we came here for. Beautiful trout. <sighs> Incredible. <sighs> All right, there she goes. Muchas gracias. Ciao. <sighs> nice. So this huh? apparently uh -huh. is bear shit. <laughs> Catching fish next to bear shit. Yep. <laughs> see if there's another one over there.
Big one? Pretty big. Oh yeah. I don't think he's quite as big as the other one, but he's strong. Uh-oh. I see his mouth. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice fish, man. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Beautiful fish. Beautiful color on them. Awesome. I'll make a photo for you. Sure. Well done. Gosh. Great. Oh, let's do it again. Woohoo! <laughs> That's the best way to get warm. Catch a fish. <laughs> mm. Suddenly I'm losing all my trout and getting followers, but they don't, they don't take it. Really strange. Nice fish. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry? Just super strong this one. Muy bueno. Take the her, bait off first. Okay. <sighs> Great fish. Big, big trout. <sighs> what an incredible fight this one. He was so strong, jumped out of the water many, many times. Very, very happy with it. Yeah, Great fish. Let's make some stills and then I'll throw it back. Adios. <laughs> <sighs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how cold are you? Which way is the coldest? <laughs> 1 to 10. 12. <laughs> Yes? No, oh. lo soltó, lo soltó, wow. Oh, todo bueno. Thank you. Ay, 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 ay. You have one? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I told you! I told you! I told you! It's a nice rod, right? Nice lure. 
<laughs> it's not huge, but it's nice. It's nice. First cast <laughs> with my rod. <laughs> oh, I told you. I told you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well done. <laughs> It's a long, long time ago that I did fly fishing. Oh, fish! <laughs> On the fly rod. It came off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yo pensé que la trucha que la última era más grande. We are cold, we caught a lot of fish, and we still need to walk back quite far, I think. Hopefully, we'll find the way back. <sighs> so, we're gonna go. I'll see you guys later.